in my opinion, I think a newer agent needs to niche down and focus on a target and hit that and get really good at hitting that before you get too complicated, get in the weeds too much. Most people are like, and I, I like the idea of it, but most people want to know too much before they, successful people are not wired that way. They don't have to know everything before they become successful. So certain people are like wired that way where you have to know everything before you do anything. And it's like, if that's the case, which is most people are that, most new agents are that way actually, then why would I complicate it by adding additional? Yeah, options? analysis paralysis. Yeah, exactly. So, okay, so let's And then okay. they don't end up selling anything. So new, newer agents should probably focus in on a niche, whether it's final expense, Medicare, yeah, life, whatever. Yeah, keep it simple to start at yeah. least. So when, when, does, when, do you, when does an agent become into that next sort of level to level up into what, maybe potentially adding a arrow to their quiver? Well, most, most of the time when it's become a well-oiled machine that they can rely on and they're like, okay, you know, um, maybe they've got a, somebody in their office that sells annuities and they can like set up meetings for them and get half the business. Or maybe they've got a- agents that they want to help that sell Medicare. Maybe they are like, okay, you know, I'm sitting down with these people. I might as well be fact finding and asking a couple additional questions. Like that's easy. You know, a lot of, a lot of people will, will cross sell for other agents to where they'll like, they don't sell PNC, they sell life and health, but they'll ask if, if it's okay if I give you a free quote for your home and auto, see if we can save you some money because they're looking to give a, ref- they have referral partners and they want to give a referral to that referral partner and vice versa. So what, what is a, let's just brass tacks. What does a well-oiled machine look like? Is that like when, when as a single producer, you get 75 K income, then it starts. I always think about like Ryan and Eric and spike and all these guys, you know, that's like, it's just, it's, it's, it's this business. It's really easy to be inconsistent and it to feel like a roller coaster. Okay. If you feel like what you're doing is at least typically consistent in some way. And I'm not saying down to the penny every week, but at least you're looking at like, you know, so many sets, so many sits, so many cells. And yeah, it varies. But like a general, like Joey, you know, general consistency, then that seems like a weld machine. Not that you couldn't just pump it and start increasing that before you add because you could. But I think the, the, the answer isn't as easy because some agents just need to just keep focusing on what they're doing. Yeah.